What's up y'all? Welcome back to another episode here and uh, there's something I get asked a lot. I'm gonna say like a shit ton when we're at the races and that question I get asked is hey can I go for a ride with you? Well unfortunately the answer to that question is always no. The reason that is I don't actually have a passenger seat in my car to give anybody a ride. So unfortunately yeah nobody's able to ride along. I'm not able to you know have other people experience the craziness of autocross or high-speed autocross or even have an instructor ride with me when we go to uh, like uh, Blackhawk something like that so today we are changing that and I'm gonna show you what we're working with here so we were able to tell that I had ran that. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys Oh, would you look at that luxurious, oh, just amazing, magnificent throne there. Wow. So what this is, is this is actually a 1991 uh, Acura Integra, which is the same year as that seat, but it was from a, you know, gray or tan interior vehicle. Uh, Lots of nice stains. Oh yeah, and I actually already even degreased it and pressure washed it, and it's a hundred times better than what it was. So, what we're gonna do to make it match the vehicle and look a lot better is I actually picked up some vinyl and fabric paint. This stuff, I hear, works. Picked it up at O'Reilly's, it was like 10 bucks a can. I picked up two cans, so hopefully that's enough. But we're gonna shoot some coats on here and hopefully get this stuff to stick and hopefully when it's hot out you don't sit up off of it and your you know nice khaki shorts are the same color as the seat so we'll get right into it and like i said i already washed it it is dry you want it to be completely clean before you do this so take note make sure you get it clean all right let's get right into it so I'll always start off cleaning the tip make sure it's good and shake shooken shaked <laughs> whatever you want to say i'm going to start off with the uh headrest here because i'm gonna to have to pull off the uh plastic trim on here i'm going to remove the little seat belt there too because i'm going to put a harness in this so i'm going to start off just by shooting the headrest just to kind of see how it's sticking before i go through all the work of pulling it off and find out it's not going to work Wow, it's actually covering a lot more area than I would have expected on the first go here. I thought it was just gonna soak right in and not uh, not really do any coverage at all, but it really seems to be laying down pretty darn good here. So I'm gonna go at it for a few here, get this kind of all laid down and we'll see what it looks like. Well, I am actually pretty impressed with this first coat. It wasn't even a super thick coat that I laid down, and it's got some pretty darn good coverage. I'm going to say it would probably only need one more coat after it dries. I think you're supposed to wait about 10 minutes between coats. So we'll, uh, we'll let that dry while it's doing that. We're going to pull off these plastic pieces, and we are actually going to paint those as well. But I want to make sure that we're able to get you know all the way in here with the paint. So I'm pull those off and get to her. So we managed to get uh, both side plastic pieces off and I'm gonna shoot this one here and see what uh, see what it looks like and how it's gonna turn out. Probably gonna do a couple light coats on this one being that it's vinyl and not uh, cloth like the seats are just to make sure we don't get any crazy drips and that it totally adheres to the the plastic itself so do that and I'll let that first coat dry so we're gonna work on the uh, the backrest now I'm just gonna start laying some coats down and kind of see what uh, what it's kind of gonna look like here I mean it seems to be going down pretty good I just hope that I got 
enough for two cans. It's going to be tight, I can tell you that. Might only be able to get one coat on the entire thing. But we'll see. Wow, guys. I mean, this be looking like Vanta Black or Fanta Black or however you say it. They can't even see it. <laughs> I'm really surprised with one coat how good the coverage is. Uh, so I've almost used a full can on the backrest here. Um, honestly, it'd probably just be a light dusting for the second coat. I do have to get the vinyl back here uh, on the back of the seat yet, but I mean, it's turning out really good i'm actually kind of impressed already i mean uh we won't know until it's you know finally done and i rub my hand on it when it's dry and nothing comes off on my hands but uh, i think so far i'm i'm impressed wow all right we're going on to the second can always like i said be sure to clean the tip we're gonna try uh try the vinyl on the back here Oh, uh-oh, the tip, I think, just blew off. I think this can just crapped out on me. Oh, we're good to go, got her fixed. Oh, never mind. It's uh, it's not working now. I don't know if it's the tip or if it's the can. All right, just uh, swapped out the tip from the old can. Let's see if it works again. All right, so yeah, had a bad tip there only lasted you know 10 seconds so yeah definitely want to make sure you get two cans just uh just in case you have that issue but uh it seems to be laying down pretty good on the vinyl here um i guess we won't know until it's totally dry but it seems to be covering quite well so we did the back vinyl First coat seems to be sticking. I mean, I ran my hand over it already and it's only been drying for about eight minutes or so. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it down on the bottom here. And as you can see, you know, there's lots of stains. So hopefully, you know, this paint will have the coverage to, to cover all that up. So I'll throw some of that down and see what we got. And what I've been doing is I've just kind of been alternating, uh, you know, going from left to right and then up and down as well. So I do, I'll throw it all the way down like this, across the whole seat, and then once I get that all covered, then I'll go the opposite direction. The thing I have noticed is, since this is more perforated versus this, uh, it definitely takes more to cover this area up versus on the left here. I mean, I could literally shoot this in one coat and it'd probably be fine, where this it seems to be taking a few so I got coverage on the entire bottom, uh, the seat portion of it. I had to tip it up like this because when I was spraying it straight up and down, all I was getting is uh, like the accelerant and not the actual dye itself. And for those of you thinking this is paint, it is not paint. It is literally dye in an aerosol can. I have literally let this thing sit for less than 10 minutes here. And watch this. Here's my hands. They're not perfectly clean, but they're clean. The seat is soft and there is nothing on my hands. I just finally got the final coat on and uh, I guess my verdict on this stuff, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It does exactly what it says. It's gonna keep the fabric soft. It'll cover up any dye, or not, sorry. It'll cover up any stains that are on the seat, and it did. I mean, there is literally, you can't see any stains in the seat anymore. It's it's amazing, and the video quality doesn't do it justice to how good it actually looks. The only thing I wish I would have done was, and you can see right here these lines, that from vacuuming, I, you know, you want to make sure you have the fibers all facing the same direction when before you spray. So if you take a shot back to it, make sure they're all facing up. I kind of didn't do that, and, and you can actually kind of see where it is. It doesn't look bad at all in person, but in the camera, it kind of really picks it up. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it turned out just absolutely amazing. Uh, even the back vinyl here, I mean, looks great. Nothing coming off there. I mean, it just, wow, blew my mind. 
So uh, one other thing here too, the I didn't paint the inside of that, but the outside of the, the plastic covers, those turned out great as well, as well as the, the handles for the uh, uh, seat back. So yeah, I'm giving this a thumbs up and hopefully uh, hopefully soon here you guys will be able to go for a ride along and you know if you're, you're inter ever interested just hit me up. I have, would just love to take everybody I can uh, with in the car just so they can get uh, get an experience because it's uh, even though she doesn't make a whole lot of power she's still a handful. That torque steer and front wheel drive with those fat sticky tires she moves for what she is so yeah. Um, thumbs up if you guys could hit that like hit that subscribe button hit that bell to receive notifications and we'll see you on the next one yeah